And we are live. You're kicking it with your boy, Stoddy, man. As always, I want to thank everybody out there that's been watching my YouTube and like and subscribe and to share my stuff. Um, I appreciate everybody that's been listening to my podcast, Stoddy Uncouth. Um, they've just been rocking with me, man. Um, I was supposed to go live today, but I was just with my family, my little brothers. Uh, just take care of make sure my little brother was cool and just doing family things. So, yeah, um, it's late. It's late. It's like two in the morning. I know for y'all young folks, y'all whipping around the streets, but us old heads, we, we tired. Shit. I'm tired. He got to work. Um, so, yeah, I just want to share my screen and talk about some topics. I was going to do a whole little thing. Um, and I'm going to save this one. I might do another show tomorrow and upload that one. But I want to just talk about some of the stuff that's been going on. Um, in the funny world of the internet, let's go. Let's go ahead and start. From the, um, um, I mean, you know what? This is no in no particular order. She looked crazy than the motherfucker. I don't know what she was trying to do here. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what in the what in the creep TLC is going on here. I don't even know who Jazz Anderson is though. So, um, I'm gonna give her a little bit of grace so I can look this lady up. Jazz sports a new T buys inspired look for a new. TV project. Okay, good. It's a TV project. And it better be T buys, right? Let's see what the comments saying. That's her real, that's her mom, real, real hairstyle right there. You ain't old enough if you don't remember Tammy whooping David on the show. I don't know what the fuck y'all talking about. She go with persuasive. Who is oh persuasive from the baddies? She looked like her mom is giving oh jet. Oh, Tammy's mom. Uh, I mean Tammy's daughter. This is Tammy's daughter. I was like, who? Okay, now it's making sense. Got you. This is Tammy's daughter. She definitely looking creep, creep, creeping as much. Most definitely. And by, like, definitely. Look, first, I, I was like, if this is just a regular 2024 hairstyle, I'd be like, say, she looked like a damn fool. But now it all makes sense. I'll take it back. I'll take it back. Y'all know I'm petty. Uh, But that was that one. We're going to go ahead and get her on off. I'm going to come on back on here. And um, let's talk about... Uh, the you know diddy y'all know diddy always on the thing so let me go ahead and let's do the diddy thing let's go oh but like it's unclear so he but this was something i've been talking about for years because he it's like a now a documented thing that i saw him like at a party in miami like i was at a party in miami that I should not have been at like some real black excellence shit that <laughs> i was not deserving to be at but i went with the dj yeah and i took ecstasy and i ended up wandering around with some mansion on star island and i end up walking i guess it was his mansion and i end up it's all like just hot it's all hot black people yeah and then just like one moron with an afro and everyone's like how do oh right when you had an afro. they're like whose man is this <laughs> yeah. but i came in and i basically saw him i walked mm -hmm. in room i shouldn't have walked into and i saw him like hooking up with a dude basically like full spooning situation this guy felix the house cat who's like a producer whatever. I then told the story on a podcast and then his people called me and were like, you need to say you were joking. Like, say you're a funny guy and like you made it up for the yeah. views. And I was yeah. like, but I, no, but I did not. I saw it. And he saw me when I came in. Were you like, like a little scared? Yes. Yeah, because everyone in the room like stopped because I opened the door and was like, is this the bathroom? And everyone was like, no, this is a room where like celebrities, like male celebrities hook up. <laughs> it's like some glitterati shit. Yeah. Um, and then he basically had people call me and like threaten me and like tell me that if I didn't take it back and say I was joking. And you still didn't take it back? Used, no. Why? And then I talked about it on Hot 97 and they wouldn't air it. Um, Ebro, who does the morning show on Hot 97, they so Hot 97 always kept me on a pre record because they were like, what are you going to say? <laughs> yeah. They would never let me do a live <laughs> interview. And I told the story. And then afterwards, he was like, I'm not going to let you, I'm not going to run this interview because like Diddy's insane and he'll like, he blew up Kid Cudi's car. And all this shit. So how, I, and I, I feel was like, like you did that on purpose. Like you're like, you wanted to see if he what he'd do to you. No, I wanted to get killed by Diddy. <laughs> but now, pe now everyone just found out that he like blows up people's Kid Cudi finally told the story. Oh, he I've did? been saying this for years. I've been like, oh, oh Kid Cudi is cute, right? <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> like fuckable? <laughs> yeah. No, like he's just oh, I'll tell you, white folks just get to infiltrate these commercials and just start talking. It was, I mean, a commercial, the, the scene and just I don't know. I don't know. Appropriation is at an all time high. Y'all let anybody into the culture and then they just get to just start talking and running amok and just think that they just have all these rights to be speaking on things. But when it comes to this right here, he was oddly specific just because he's talking and, you know, he's appropriate. I mean, he ain't talking some shit that ain't worth listening to um, because it's oddly specific that he used this person who I've never heard of. DJ Felix, the house cat uh, sound like it was house bussy. 
So I don't know what's really going on out here because I'm like, like literally, he's telling the story. But then it's like layers, right? Onions. So what the fuck is you doing at the party? Tell me oh, about when I saw him like hooking up with a you dude. Stumbled upon this man. You, do, I just happened to be. Let me come on back though. No, no, you know what? Let me let me look at the comments and then I'll give a commentary. They say, I always remember the T is not Diddy being gay. It's him using extortion and coercion with covertly record uh, record tapes uh, of hundreds of celebrities engaging homosexual acts for purposes of blackmail. I don't know who said that. Stop exposing. Uh, somebody says stop exposing people's sexuality. That's the, like the name of the game now. So another right. This is interesting. So in other words, you went to a party high on X and said something you didn't agree with or felt comfortable with. So instead of just keeping to yourself, you tell someone else's business on the podcast because of what again? What does that or what you see have to do with anything? How is telling this story going to make you a better person? Uh, well, he's well, you know, it's interesting because he he was at a party that he wasn't supposed to be in. How off all type of ecstasy or whatever you was trying to say. And then you just start saying that you've seen stuff. Who invited you to the party? Like, it's interesting. All the layers. Right. Wendy Williams being said, uh, but y'all didn't want to believe her. But why is it his business to tell? We getting Jay-Z and Rock Nation next. And if he did so, is he mad that Diddy didn't hook up with him or something? If y'all don't recognize sexuality, Eczema said that Diddy took him to a gay club. But anyway, this thing, like, anyway, you know, this this man, uh, Josh or whatever, whoever this man is, it's just interesting to me that he's saying all this stuff. Like, what was you doing at the party? Y'all so comfortable being at these parties. And apparently Diddy and Felix, the house cat, thought this was a safe place to play. And apparently it wasn't because Rose uh, is this Rosenberg. I want to say Rosenberg. I don't think his name. But this guy Josh just you know he wants to start telling everybody's business. Um, but this isn't nothing new. As we all heard, Diddy's been the topic of discussion in the news for like forever. So this is nothing that uh, we don't already know. I mean, but like I said, it was very oddly specific. So I bet you it's some definite truth in what this man's saying. But you know, it's interesting when it comes from him and Vlad and. All these other folks, and y'all know what I'm talking about. I only really try to listen to folks, to, you know, when it comes for folks like them. Not saying that, that that what he's saying is not valid and there's not no truth in it. It's just like why I gotta be him, you know? It's like, eh. but we all know that Diddy do this shit, and you was there half the ecstasy, and we're pretty sure you got poked around in too. But you ain't gonna tell your side of the story. You just gonna tell the black man's business as usual, right? But eh, you know, just yeah. Uh, other news, y'all. You know, I'm just going down the line. You know, if we let's scroll together. All right, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's do this one right here. All right. JT, I only want to do this one because I think it's interesting. Uh, JT announces dates for our first tour, but what albums have you came out with? You feel me? What have you what have you come out? You just been hopping on people's, you know, projects or whatever. What have you came out with that deserves a motherfucking tour? Let's go to the comments. It's like these rap girls. I think somebody said that the rap girls is over with, and I think it's most definitely true. I'm going to try to find that one, too. You know what? Let me just come on back here. But it's this bullshit right here. And I and I even said on my last one, I think, and it's not that JT can't rap because you can rap better than some of these other girls out here. But it's like y'all haven't really, it's like any girl can be a rap, and this shit looks like a fucking fly. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. No buena. No buena, no buena. Let me see if I can find another one. Yeah, I mean, I don't got no problem with JT at all. I ain't got no issues with JT. Uh, but the music scene, man, uh, uh, the music scene is kind of dead, bro. And I'm trying to see if. Damn, I was trying to see when he said the rap, trying to find this video. Hold on, y'all. Hmm. Here we go, y'all. I think. That... Let me see. Let me share my screen so y'all can see what I see. Hold on. Just really, this is just piggyback, piggybacking off of the whole JT thing because I've seen the JT thing, so it made me want to speak on this. So let's go. Wait, it's over and Cardi. Live. For me, but the girl rapper with audio and give y'all my opinions next. Roll it. I don't want to hear it for me, but the girl rapper wave is over. Damn. Damn. Oh, come on. Just telling you what it is. Hmm. I'm normally a few months ahead with this stuff. Sometimes a few years ahead with this stuff. 
When you say old, why do you say that? Nigga, you just yeah. said it was the, the girl, the girl, the girl rapper wave is is finito. How you just changed? So. You just said a couple of weeks why? ago that it was lit. I wonder why. No, I'm, I said the cream rises to the top, so Lotto shall remain. She will. Uh, Flo Millie shall remain. Mm-hmm. Got it. Uh, Rhapsody will always be there, but she wasn't really a part of. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, but all of that, go find a girl, send her to Columbia. Get it done. Put her in the studio with fucking Mike Will or any one of them. So I'm assuming he said when he say go find a girl, send her to Columbia. I'm thinking that's to get the the package right. Get your ass done, titties done, face done, all that shit, and come back and niggas. Uh-huh. All of that planting the girl in the scene, getting the record, and it taking off. That wave is over. I think labels are looking at it like very few of y'all are selling records. It's too much work to get your coin back. We got to go do brand deals all over the world with y'all. Y'all are expensive. Some of y'all line because I mean you got Lotto selling Big Macs and shit. I think it was Cardi B on Taco Bell. Him like uh, her and I offset. Um, and it might not be Taco Bell, but you start seeing the the rappers and celebrities in general like doing some weird shit, right? You're like, damn, is the money drying up or what? All are annoying, and none of these records are working. But none of these records are working. Well, and let me now let me get to Cardi B. Uh, Cardi B is afraid, and I'm tired of just nobody saying. It. Cardi B is scared to come out. It don't take this long to come out. Well, don't nobody want to. I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and go. I hope YouTube. I uh, I think I play too much. I'd be so scared that YouTube is gonna take my videos down if I uh, watch too much or something like that with the copyright thing. So Cardi B never could rap. When Nicki Minaj says sympathy and payola, she wasn't bullshitting. A lot of folks don't really like Nicki Minaj because of maybe her attitude or her delivery, but that don't mean there's some truth into what she's saying. These And we like R- Nicki because she can fucking rap. Her lyrics is good. You got dope dealer niggas that was motherfucking bobbing to Nicki when she first came out. I mean, literally, we like real rap. We like real music. That's what, that's what we're here for, right? If not for that, then for what? It was the sympathy and the payola and everybody shaking the ass. And that's what this shit was about. That's what the music scene shifted to. You didn't even have to be have talent. You just had to have a fan base. And that could be any type of fan base. You just have to have a fan base and somebody checking for you a little bit. And then the, the lab, record labels, okay, cool, we're going to put you on. And then they're not really seeing a return. And I think that's what Joe Budden is saying. There's no return on these women. Or really just on these artists, period. Y'all could probably come out for a couple of little, little buzz singles, a little couple of singles, do a little ways, and then after a year, it's over with. And he said, Flo Millie and all these people, these bitches ain't going to be around two, three years from now, and they ain't no disrespect. You know, but don't get me wrong now. I mean, You know what? Let me backpedal a little bit, because Flo Millie can rap better than Cardi B and um, Megan Thee Stallion then. So maybe he's trying to say, because I did listen to that... Um, let me see. And this is just basically going off because I don't know nothing else about it. But I was listening to that uh, Rich the Kid and it had Lotto, Flo Millie um, and some of the other rap girls on there. And I was like, OK, I like how Flo Millie's delivery is. Some of the girls was OK. But for the most part, I don't think these girls are really going to last like that. And ain't no disrespect to anybody that's trying to do it. But you need to come with your A game, your Lauren Hill flow. Come come with some substance, baby. You feel me? We don't want this. Everybody's shaking their ass, getting their titties. Like you said, you're going to Columbia, getting the package, getting the boo, having somebody like a partisan write your raps. Because don't, bro, don't think people don't be seeing the pattern on these songwriting credits with Cardi B now. Cardi B, every time I see a record with Cardi B, because I'll be reading the, the songwriting credits on there, that dude partisan is on almost every record that woman has ever put out. If you don't believe me, go see it yourself. So I think Cardi B is scared. I think all the rap girls is scared. All the celebrities are scared because ain't nobody checking for y'all like that. Ain't nobody about to be listening to this bullshit. It ain't no longevity. It ain't no substance. It ain't doing nothing. Like it ain't, mm-mm, it ain't hitting. So I'm glad I was able to find that video and tell me if y'all think I'm wrong. And I know I'm not wrong on this one because I'm like, bro. Rap is like really kind of dying out anyway. Even this, you know, the mumble rap shit. I mean, let's be real. I mean, Migos, they, they kind of have their lane, but like the substance, the substance of the rap, what you're talking about, you feel me? Your, your lyrical content is not really hitting on shit. Um, so you know, don't get me wrong, it's a couple of it's a few folks, but it's not really. I mean, the double XL lists get trash every motherfucking year. You can ball the whole the magazine up, the magazine label up, and throw that motherfucker in the trash can. It's whack. 
No one's listening to it. So yeah, JT announcing her tour. I mean, like, is this what is this the formula? Come out with like four or five little records, and then go on tour and perform the same four or five records to get paid. If that's the case, I need to get me in the studio booth and have a motherfucker write me some little little doo wops and ooh yeah eh, and get my motherfucking money. If that's all it takes. I mean, come on now. I'm sorry, but the rap shit. I don't know. Let me fix my thing up. This 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 rap shit is dying, bro. And y'all know I ain't lying. Y'all know I ain't lying. Uh, really the music scene in general. Motherfuckers is doing Popeye's commercials and all type of shit coming out with, with food after them. I think it was Cardi B and Offset came out with some stupid shit. Like, y'all coming out with, like, anything besides music. You got Joe Budden, even himself. You a fucking rapper. But now everybody want to trade in they mic for a different mic, the podcast mic. Motherfuckers want to talk so much. Motherfuckers, don't, we don't want to see you all the time. We want to hear your music. You know what? That's why I appreciate, uh, you know what I'm saying, Rihanna. I think they were just saying they want Rihanna. Rihanna really do with artists as well. Not really. Eh. Well, music-wise, you know, you're supposed to come out with your music, and then you're supposed to chill with the music for a minute. We don't want to see you like that. You know, you probably cooking up some shit. But you, you drop a record, then we don't see you for three, four years, then you come out with another banger, and we all hop on it. So, you know, music-wise, I don't think Rihanna had a record out in, like, seven years, like a full-length EP. You feel me? But I mean, she's growing. You gotta grow. You gotta go through some shit, and then you come back out. You know what I'm saying? We we keep seeing them. The artists don't never go away. They out every motherfucking years. They don't never go away. You feel me? So I don't know. Music is weird, Joe. I'm all over the place with this, but I bet I'm on to something. Tell me what y'all think about that, and we're gonna keep on going. Um, and we're gonna closing out these bitches as I uh as I uh cover them. JT the ass kick. Um, let me see. What else are we gonna do? Oh, yeah. Everybody talking about this shit right here. This was an unusual link up, right? Definitely an unusual link up here. You got Mr. Retired Dope Boy Money Bag, yo, with Denzel Washington. He said, you niggas ain't shit. You, you niggas ain't having lunch with Denzel. Stop it. And Denzel just like, okay, right? Flying, like, look at Denzel. Fresh veneers. Literally look like he about to go golfing with the Cosbys. What in the hell? Denzel ain't said no. PSA, I let him rock the AP. He said it's time to feed the street. They said Denzel ain't said no shit like that. They said, I hate when people lie. You know we saying that in the Roly Boy. <laughs> what is wrong? Get out of here. This is a this is a very interesting thing, though. But we get to see it though. The only thing that look like it's daddy, though. This is father and son all day on everything. It look like daddy and pops in this shit. That is fucking hilarious. I thought that was funny, y'all. But we're gonna bring it on back. Like this, like if I would have went live, this would have been the energy that I'm on. I had a great weekend. Hope everybody else did too. Um, let's talk about this motherfucker who need to be behind bars. All righty, all right, Mr. Court documents know his name. Trey Songs here, bruh. I'm telling you, I think these girls need to head for the hills. You're gonna choke you out, spit in your mouth, and uh, beat your motherfucker. That. You know, it's allegedly, allegedly. What in the world? What in the world? She up high. Hell in the hell, nah. What in the fuck? They just happy to be here. Look at the white girl. Hell no. Nah. Let me look at the camera. Hope no one paid for this. He'll touch you inappropriately for free. <laughs> Damn. I hope no one paid for this because he'll touch you inappropriately for the free free. For some reason, this is given. I need money. It's not hitting the same as when Chris Brown did it. Agreed. I know his lawyers hate him because all them girls he's touching is about to have a lawsuit. All them allegations, he shouldn't touch any damn body. I'm from Baltimore and I ain't never seen none of them. <laughs> they look a mess. Everybody look a mess. Even Trey Song's looking like a regular motherfucker. The hell? Thought he had some sketches on. Everybody want to be like Chris. I said what I said. I mean, shit, Chris is a dope fiend. Who wants to be like him? <laughs> I mean, they all in the same. You're right. They all being like Chris. Every time you look around, uh, these, these R&B singing motherfuckers are going upside your fucking head. Yeah, they all like Chris. Damn. You ain't fucking lying. Right. Yeah, this is definitely a cream. She look like the girl named Erica. Hell to the fuck. Nah. I ain't fucking with y'all. I ain't even about to do it. What else is going on? I'm about to get up out of here. Yeah, Trey Songs need to be locked the fuck up for real. 
straight up. It's gonna be a, it's gonna be a surviving Trey songs for real. I ain't lying, and I can't help but wait. For real, look at Jaquees. Oh yeah, speaking of you know, speaking of ex best friends, right? These motherfuckers. Look at him. Right him. He just cussed Trey Songs out and called him called him a grapist. Well, last morning. <laughs> last morning. So your Jaquees, I think he just got some chick pregnant. I think. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, DeAndre Sanders, Deion, Deion, is that Deion Sanders' daughter? Jaquees got Deion Sanders' daughter pregnant? Oh, that's the one that was going back and forth with Dreezy and shit. Oh, yeah. Don't nobody give a fuck about this. Get this shit off my screen. And he can't see no more any fucking way. I wish I could edit this out of my damn video. We don't want no parts. All right, let's go to Kelsey Salazar. That's what they was calling her. Let me see. Kelsey had a good time last night at the Nicki Minaj concert. You know, apparently they tight now. Megan had even more fun performing on stage alongside Beyonce at the Renaissance tour. Oh, is that right? Will Cardi new song say, I see my eyes linking up. I'm like, what in the fuck? I do know Megan slept with her man and then got him sent away for like 30 years. She better be lucky. That's all the girl do. That's all the girl doing. Say what y'all want. It it wasn't done to y'all. Interesting. They gonna say, ain't she married? She's married to her man who got who she was with. With me. who gives a fuck though? Right? She did. Right. First of all, why ain't Kelsey ain't got a reason to be upset that somebody slept with her damn man? Like everybody knew that the joke was on her, but her. Now I ain't saying she should have grabbed that damn pistol and start trying to shoot the lady, but damn. You know, yeah. She is definitely playing op games. I ain't gonna lie, but hey, who cares? I'm team none of them. I'm team none of them. I'm team none of them. This shit all over the place. This definitely should have been alive, y'all. I don't even know if I want to publish this mug. This is all over the place. I don't even know like what kind of topic I should give this though. Let me see if there's anything else I want to speak on before I get the fuck on the fodder. Let me see. I don't like this dude though. I'm gonna go back up here. I don't. I don't like. I don't like. People like these people. I, I know we already talked about this, but we don't like this guy. It'd be different if somebody else said it. I don't really care for him. I don't care for him like that. It'd be it'd be it'd be the white folks that be on here talking the most shit, and y'all know it do. Literally, I let these folks in the culture, bro. Gave them a key to the culture, and then they just do the shit like this. It's just I don't know anybody but him. I swear, the messenger could have been anybody but him. I promise. I ain't gonna hold you. I ain't gonna hold you. I ain't gonna hold you. What in the hell? What is this, y'all? Scrolling down Instagram, and this is what I'm looking at. What is you doing? Look at Smiley's ass. Yes, yes, yes. This is what happens when you give these motherfuckers a platform. You hear me? All right, Auntie wasn't here for Smiley. To, tooting her clappers up at the at the game. I don't care what people think. I love my life. No fucks given. We don't like you. You a social social mess. Um, and I don't know. I think that seizure was kind of pseudo. Whoever did Smiley BBL need to be under the damn <laughs> chair. Hey, one thing Smiley gonna have on is a motherfucking jumpsuit on. Swear to God, it was a bitch at the gas station bond switcher that looked just like Smiley right now. I swear to God. They said that box Chevy painted candy green. Please don't come for me. But when she bent over, I thought it was a mascot. Y'all stupid. I don't really. Yeah, the 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 fake seizures and doing the shit she did on the show is kind of what made people uh, not really like Smiley like that. Um, for real, for real. Like she's kind of strange. Um, this was kind of strange to me too, y'all. Let's go ahead and share the screen on this one too. I want to go ahead and. I know Kanye West is somewhere very, very upset and annoyed. All right. <sighs> All righty. They said she looked like a grown woman. I believe a child needs to stay in a child's place. I'm going in the comments because I'm literally what this was. Stay in a child's place. This is exactly what Kanye West was, was afraid of, right? I think this is what he was trying to avoid. They said, in the women in the comments cheering this on scares me. 
Kanye need to handle that. Kim is trying to make this little girl be grown so fast. They be forgetting she's only 10 years old. Right. You know what I'm saying? This don't sit well with me. I don't like this, y'all. I don't really, I don't really like this. She's she, to me, she's getting a little bit too grown. Is that uh ice spice? Like literally, that's not Penelope in the back with the ice spice wig. Yeah, that's a, what the hell is going on right now? I don't know, but yeah, Kanye West, come get your damn kids from these folks. Where is the black family members to come raise these kids? Come get these damn kids from these folks. For real, for real. No, no, no. Craig David, sit down. All right, uh, that's all I'm going to do for y'all. This was supposed to be my live stream. I'm glad everybody was uh, that watched this long. You feel me? Uh, I may or may not. So, well, this might be a post and delete. Um, drop some comments. Tell me what you think about what we discussed today, man. I appreciate all the love. And as always, be a light out here. And live for you, though. People are miserable out here. They really want you to be in the miserable space with them. Don't be that. Fuck these people. Fuck them. You hear me? Y'all stay away from miserable people. I'm trying to tell you, ain't nothing going on with them. They ain't talking about shit. You ain't missing nothing. Stay away from them. You don't need to tell them your good news because they're not going to have anything positive to say. Stay away from negative people that bring you down. I promise you, bruh, literally, that's all I really got to say. And stay on your bullshit. Uh, you got yourself to blame if you're not where you need to be at if you're over 20 years old. Sorry, not sorry. Ain't no motherfucking excuses out here. Like, literally, yeah, it's all fun and games. I'll talk my shit, but sorry, not sorry. I'm not feeling sorry for no motherfucking grown person that got the same time as me. Get your black ass out there in the game. Get out there in the game. Bro, ain't nobody about to, ain't no handouts here. There's no such thing, and ain't nobody coming to save your motherfucking ass. So, yeah, that's my word of the night. I hope everybody have a good weekend. I'm about to be doing this work, uh, going another hiatus, um, getting about my motherfucking money. You already know what it is. Shout out to my barber. Shout out to my friends. Shout out to uh, Mojo, Sammy. Um, shout out to the camp, man. Appreciate everybody, man. Like, subscribe, share if you care. Deuce.